Hey everyone, it's me, Doomlink, and welcome back to Let's Play Dark Souls. It is currently part 3 for my Let's Play, and it is the 3rd of October, 2017, as I am recording this. It's actually getting kind of late in the day. I wanted to do a few things at this time of day, but I'm recording a Let's Play because I'm lazy. But anyway, uh, I'm going to attack you. What I'm doing right now is essentially getting enough souls to level up exactly once with not many souls to spare because I do have a feeling that I'm going to die at least once or twice to Havel as I try to kill him here. I want to get his ring early on because his ring is indeed very useful. Wow, I actually managed to miss you with that one. I am playing worse than you can imagine. But you can see how little damage I'm taking from these enemies because I have this nice new set with some extra defense here. It is very nice. But um, regardless, it's not like I need to be overpowered for this area. Yet I am. It's kind of funny. But uh, generally, being overpowered is something that would be for weaker players. But the funny thing is, you do need to be... When I say weaker players, I mean like less skilled. But you do need to be pretty skilled to get the overpowered weapons anyway. The reason why I say more skilled is because it seems that a lot of people struggle with even the basic stuff in this game. So, I don't know. I guess it must be pretty skillful to be able to do that stuff if, you know, even going through the Undead Berg is hard for some people, but anyway. What I'm going to do is just get, I, was it 2,125? I think so. If so, then that's pretty ironic, seeing as though I had exactly 100 less than what I needed. But anyway, I think that should be okay. Was it 2,150? I think that's what I saw. No, it was 2,114. Okay, well... What actually happened there was that a guy walked in here while I was still sitting down there, but he ended up disappearing regardless because I had already completed my sit-down animation. Kind of funny, but we're going to level up once more. Probably not going to bother with endurance at this stage because I am aiming for Havel's ring. It is good to have some endurance regardless, but I'll just put that in HP for now. So what I'm going to do is kind of run through here, at least ignoring the guys behind me there and then I'll kill these people. Fucking missed you, eh? Alrighty, I knew you were gonna do a jump attack. I guess I'm just being lazy and running through these guys anyway, but um, I'm gonna do the jump attack here. Now that is very good online with this weapon. I often do that, like I just, whenever I use this weapon online, and I really shouldn't say that as if it's present tense, it's more like past tense, because I don't play online anymore in this game, god no. But when I did do PvP, that was a good way to just like rudely start a fight. Just be like, hey man, that was great. But, uh, I mean, that would always do well for me, but regardless, I'm going to hit you, and then hit you, and then hit you. Oh, wow, you're playing well. You play better than the guys online. <laughs> anyway, but, uh, yeah, beautiful weapon, this. Always loved it. People will... I also like the Life Hunt Scythe as well. That's a good weapon, but I do much prefer this one to the Life Hunt. But I do at times make use of the Life Hunt online, or I did at times. I shouldn't really use present tense. I'm playing so lazily against this guy, I really should... Actually, I don't even need Estus Flasks against Havel, because if I get hit by Havel, I'm dead anyway. So yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. Regardless, oh, I do have humanity on me, actually. I probably should have been more smart with that, but what I need to do is make sure that I can fast roll, because that's very important. I need some mobility against this guy. Actually, seeing as though I'm going to die if I get hit anyway, I might as well go naked, for fuck's sake. Although I could possibly survive a hit if I'm lucky, so maybe I should try and, like, not fuck myself over too hard. Uh, just gonna keep going until I can't roll anymore. This will probably do it. Yeah, there you go. So I'll probably do the black leather gloves instead, and that should be fine. Yeah, so we're gonna have some creepy bony legs as we attempt this. Now, basically, I need to remember what I need to do for Havel. It's been a while, again, since I've done this. Um... He comes further down here, and I shouldn't, like, lose health unnecessarily as I do this. I might top up my health absolutely so that I can maybe have some room to take damage. He is down here. There he is. So if I can remember what to do with him, I think parrying him is a good thing to do. You can just use your fist to do that. That's fine. Using the fist and using a shield is exactly the same, unless you're using a shield like the target shield. The target shield will increase your window of being able to actually knock back the attack, but... A shield like this, for instance, is going to be exactly the same as using the fist, so, yeah, I'm just going to use the fist for parries, but, uh, or I could possibly use the target shield. That might not actually weigh me down very much. Two units? You know what? I'm actually going to do that. I mean, why the fuck not? Might be easier. Let's just do it. So what we do here is we get him to do an attack, 
and then that'll be a backstab opportunity right there. And I fucking missed it. I can't believe myself, honestly. I fucking suck, don't I? Anyway, I'm just, I'm not going to talk because I need concentration as I'm doing this. It's very important. The idea is to get him stuck in an endless backstab here. And I fucked it up. He's easy to backstab for sure. You mainly should be going for backstabs, not so much um, parries now that I remember. Parries are good though. Oh, that's right, okay. I just need to remember his tracking. I need to remember how to fight this guy. Backstabs are what you do want to be capitalising on, that's what I recall with this guy. But anyway, I will see you guys back at the fire. I just need to relearn what I need to do with the guy. You need to kind of be pretty proactive with him because it does take a while <laughs> to really kill him, so you need to be really on to him at all times. So yeah, anyway, I will see you guys back at the fire because you guys don't need to see me running through all these bloody enemies again. Alrighty, so here we are again. And uh, once again, I'm not going to talk because it does require a bit of uh, concentration. Just need to remember how this guy works. I think maybe not even attempting parries could be a good thing. I don't know. So what am I actually do? Just go Dragon Crest Shield and then just ignore. I'm just going to go naked because who gives a shit? But being able to roll is helpful. So we're going to backstab him here. Or not. So watching him do this is fine. Uh oh. Not good. I was poorly calculating that. Anyway, I'm not going to talk. I'll speed up the whole process because it does take a very long time. You can see his fucking health. It does take a while for sure. Fuck! See how he does that? That's really annoying. I had everything down pat right there, but he still fucked with me in the end. Very annoying. I'll see you guys back down there. One positive about dying to Havel is that you do end up getting a lot of souls in the process by constantly fighting the same enemies over and over again. Uh, okay, so we'll get ready here again. Indeed, using the shield is better. And just, you know, aiming for backstabs. Parries are not really worth it, but anyway. So once again, we're going to do the same thing. Oh, he's faster today. Bloody asshole. Motherfucker. The problem is you don't have much room for error. And that's the problem with this guy. Because he takes so long to die that you can fuck up at some point. It really does suck. Um, okay. Regardless, I'm just going to cut until I kill the guy. How about that? I think you would prefer that. That should be the last one, I think. It's not very much health, if that's the case. Just do a normal hit on your ass. Alright. Bye-bye. So that's Hevel... Hevel... Havel dead. And as you can see, I have a lot of souls to show for him. See, that's the one benefit of dying constantly while trying to fight this guy. You just pick up a lot of souls as you continue uh, continue to go through the same area repeatedly. But anyway, I'm going to go and re-equip all of this stuff. I don't need to worry about uh, fast rolling anymore. Um, I have two options available to me right now. Either I go the normal way, like through the uh, Undead Parish, or I go through this place first and foremost. And yeah, I'm just going to go this way. It's, it's more interesting, more fun. So I do often do what I'm doing right now. The reason why I'm doing it is not because I want to do what I normally do, but rather because I think that you guys haven't seen too many Let's Plays that go this way first. So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe you haven't seen many Let's Plays of this game anyway, but uh, at the very least I think that it is generally unique to go this way anyway. But uh, let's say way a few more times. I think I need to go up through here, is that right? I don't know, I can't remember which way I'm going here. I just need to remember. Alright, it seems that we're going this way. That's okay. Obviously, it's been a long time since I've played, so... Well, you can tell based on the fact that I can't even remember which way to go in the direction that I normally go when I play this game, but... Um, 
it's only been semi-recent, you know, maybe 2013 when I started going in this direction, just to kind of change it up a little bit, just to kind of have it a little bit more fun. Now, there is a guy further up here that is going to drop another possible game-changing weapon, if it is picked up by us. But, uh, I mean, if he drops it, we will pick it up, of course, but uh, it's one of those weapons that you can't exactly miss. Like these guys, when they drop items, they just automatically go to you. And I think we missed him, actually. Yeah, alright, he's further down here, I think. So if we go down here, we just bypassed him slightly. We just need to go and say hello to him because I think he's a little bit lonely over here. I could always be wrong, he might not be here. He might be further up. Alright, he must be further up. That's the leather set. Uh, longbow with some arrows is actually very nice. I am happy to have those. Loud birds outside. I could have sworn that he was around here. Maybe not. Okay, he must be further up. But it's one of those black knights, and the weapons that they drop are very strong in terms of their physical damage, and people who do pick them up by chance, they do have a kind of a low drop rate, but they, at the same time, it is pretty easy to get them. They might not actually have that low of a drop rate anyway. He must be up here. If not, then I don't know where the fuck he is. Yeah, where is he? Where? This is odd. Because I'm coming out of the Dark Root Forest now. That's very strange. I wonder where he was. It's very good just for Twinkling Titanite anyway if you do kill him. Actually, no, maybe he only drops chunks, but he's good for chunks. I wonder where the hell he was. I think I was right, more or less, in my position, but he must have just... I don't know. That's very strange. I'm going to go and look for him. Give me a moment. I think I can see him down there. That's him, isn't it? I think it is. How the hell did I miss him? I don't know. It's very odd of me to just, like, miss him like that. I suppose this is a more vast area than I thought. And I know that there's, like, the uh, grass crest, crest shield further over there. No, that's, like, the dead body of that guy. Okay, well, where the hell are you, man? Aren't you here? You must be here. I mustn't be going crazy. Aha, no, it's over here. Alright. I just forgot. This is a more expansive area than you might think. Okay, so he's going to be just here. Alright. So, oh, whoops, I'm going two-handed. I need to be going one-handed with this. So, actually, I might not go and try and pick up this shield in case I get stuck. Now, this guy has some cra- I'm still going two-handed. Stop it. He has some crazy moves, this guy. I'm just going to backstab him here. I don't know if I want to go for parries. I'm not too sure. I need to get in a better spot if I'm going to do that. Here we go. This this should be okay. Fucking need to get the timing right. It's a bit different with this thing. Oh, I forgot about that. And it's hard to know whether he's doing a what you would call a one, well, an R1 or an RB, whatever you want to say, or an RT. I'm trying to, you know, use the Xbox 360 controller button names because, you know, I am currently playing on the 360, but I am very used to the names of the uh, PS3 buttons. I will say that I do feel very out of sorts when I do play this game on the 360 controller. It just doesn't feel right. All the buttons are too rounded. All of the buttons on the 360 controller are flat, and they're a lot more comfortable in that way, I will mention. The 360 controller, for me, is not really designed for comfort. I feel like whoever de designed the 360 controller was a retard, but, you know, the PS3 controller is very well designed. Like, very well designed. They got it down pat from the beginning. I don't have any healing wares, I know, but uh, I'm just, that just means I'm going to have to be extra careful. Just backstabbing this guy will be fine. It's kind of annoying when I can't even see him. Alright, I'll go for... No, that wasn't good. Good thing I did have a advantage in terms of my... Uh, I don't want to say altitude. You know what I mean when I say that. I mean, like, my position in relation to him was below him, so his attack missed me there. So there you go. Black Knight Shield, that's very good. I'm very happy to see that. I actually prefer the shield to any of those other things that I could possibly get. Now, he's not going to drop like a Black Knight sword. He's going to specifically drop his weapon. Might as well go get the Grass Crest, crest Shield while I'm here. God, I can't speak. It's incredible. My God. Anyway, so yeah, I'm going to go and pick this up. I hope you guys don't mind my awful commentary like when I'm just... Oh, that's right. There's this freaking bonfire over here. I totally forgot about this. This takes you in a direction that you don't want to go in at this stage of the game. I don't even care if you're me. Don't do it. I mean, I, I do silly things, but, like, this is not a good idea, I'm telling you. And I'll show you why. This takes you to the area where we got the shield that I have right now. And uh, the enemies in it... Now, <laughs> it's a good thing that I didn't do what I just did there. 
in front of the opening, because I didn't actually mean to do that, but yeah, anyway. About the buttons on the 360 controller, the actual X, A, B, Y buttons are kind of rounded, whereas the ones on the PS3 are specifically flat, so it's nicer to, like, have the side of your finger on them, like, so if you're running and also controlling the camera like this, then you kind of have the side of your finger on the button, and it's a lot more comfortable to do that on the PS3 because the buttons are flat, and then you also have the, uh, what would be the RB on the RB and LB, the bumpers are the, you know, L1, R1 on the PS3, those are also flat on the controller of the PS3, so it's just much nicer, you feel like you're gripping something a little bit more nicer, <laughs> a little bit more nicer, but anyway, whoop, I was supposed to not do that, but you'll see, these guys have a lot of fucking health, probably more health than is reasonable for me to be bothering with at this stage. If you want, like, souls and whatever, I mean, maybe you can do it, but I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. I don't know how I just suddenly did a lot of damage there. Maybe when he's in the in the air, he just doesn't... I don't know how it works, honestly. These guys aren't too terribly difficult to kill. But it seems that when they're in the air, they take a lot of damage. I don't know what the deal with that is. But, uh, anyway. Be nice if I could do that again. Oh, it's in the face. I get it. Good to know. So the idea is that they attack very front-on, but they're very weak front-on as well, so I'm going to do that now. Never mind. There we go. Get your face. I need to get your face. Come on. Ah, oh, missed it again. Jesus. I forgot how to fight these guys, honestly, because I generally don't. This is a completely optional area, so sometimes I just don't even bother with it. There we go. I got the uh, lightning there. Pretty easy to kill, aren't they? So even if you're... Uh, kind of coming through here early on, it's not a bad idea, it's just, it's optional, and the enemies just take so long to die that it might not be worth it in the end, but uh, I'm just going to keep healing myself. I do have the... Uh, can you stop that? This guy's annoying. Look at his hitbox. Did you see that ridiculous hitbox? Because I did. It's unbelievable. I'm at the stage where I'm just constantly healing and, like, trying not to die. This is not great. I'm not in a dire situation, it's just like, I want to kill this guy because I've already started trying to kill him, so I might as well actually finish the job. And I'm trying to hit his head or something. Like, I don't know what, what it is that's doing so much damage. It is his head, but I just wonder how I'm able to hit it consistently. There you go. No, not even that does it. I don't understand this guy. I don't know how to hit the head. Like, reliably. This will kill him. Anyway. See, what did the damage there? I don't understand this monster. Or this dragon, whatever you want to call it. So that's a thousand souls just for killing this guy, but I... Like, that's not really worth it. There are like, items to go through here. I can't remember what this place is called. This is, like, the Drake... Valley of the Drakes, I think it's called, yeah. Now, I couldn't really be bothered, so I'll probably just... I mean, this isn't going out of here. This is just going to where I was before. This is, like, leading back to the Undead Berg, more or less. Or, no, kind of Fire Link and then the Undead Berg. But, um, yeah, not doing that crap. So, it's around here that I came out of, isn't it? Yeah, just to round through here. I don't usually go through this area, like I said, because it is optional, and, um, you know, sometimes I'll do it for fun, but, yeah, not at this stage in the game. Would not recommend it. I guess a thousand souls is pretty decent for you at this stage of the game, but uh, I wouldn't, I really wouldn't bother. Not worth it. But if you want to do it, <laughs> go ahead. I won't stop you. I can't. <laughs> That's why. I can't stop you. But anyway, we are going to go to the Undead Parish, and then I will end the video, because once again, I don't really know how long these videos are going for. I'm purely estimating, just in my mind, based on how much I've done on camera, as far as I can... Yeah, he's really estimating. As far as I can estimate, this is how much I've done on camera, and I don't know how much. Maybe about 18 minutes worth of footage, perhaps, but oh, we're probably getting into 20 minutes by now, but... Uh, Anyway, I'm going to head to the Undead Parish from the Darkroot Basin. That's what this is called, not the Darkroot Forest. The Darkroot Forest is further over in that direction where I'm pointing. And, um, yeah, that will be a place that we will be frequenting later on. Because we will need some souls further through that uh, big forest area. And it will be a good place for us to farm those souls. But we won't be doing that just yet, because we do actually need 20,000 souls first and foremost before we can actually keep collecting souls. And we will be getting those 20,000 souls from the boss. Not of this area, but rather of the Undead Parish. We're kind of... We're going the long way around. Well, not really the long way. We're going the faster way to get to the Undead Parish, but we're going kind of backwards almost. 
It's very interesting. This is a very open world game. You would be surprised. You don't have to always go one way. Uh, I couldn't really be bothered fighting you, but I think I'm going to do it anyway. This guy is very annoying to fight, just because he takes so long. I mean, the reason why I find it annoying is because I've just had to kill Havel in a similar way. If you had the Drake Sword, it's not as bad, but even with the Drake Sword, it does take time. You need to, like, get away from that, but... Oh, yeah, no, I don't... Do I usually... I have in the past used a uh, Pine Resin on this guy purely out of annoyance, because he just takes so long to die. I might speed up this confrontation. These guys are pretty easy to kill, like, really easy to kill, so... Yeah, it'll be easy to speed this up anyway. I don't want to do this, but anyway, let's just go kill him while we can. Bitch! I don't have enough healing wares for this, so I'm gonna, like, not. He's gonna shoot some lightning once we get a distance up, but we are safe here. So, yeah. That's Andrea Vastora, and, um, yeah. I probably still could have been able to kill that Titan 9 Demon. They have a really predictable attack pattern. I fucked up the last hit there because I thought that I had gotten enough distance from him, but I had. But anyway, we're going to go and level up here, and then we will end the video. I'm not going to record any more today. I've already done a almost two-hour-long recording of this, so, yeah. I'm pretty content. I've done three parts, you know, almost two hours and three parts. That's all I've got to show for it, you know. Having to do the catacombs and the Havel thing was a little bit uh, time-consuming, but anyway. I will... Okay. We'll just work out what we want to actually level up here. Oh yeah, I should be able to fast roll from there, because I do have Havel's Ring on. Yeah, that's right. So this is why I do have Havel's Ring. It is worth all of the effort, because this increase of maximum equipment load is quite great. So I am able to fast roll like this, so... Yeah, for dexterity-based builds, you really should be aiming for... I guess, uh, additional speed with your movements in general. So I'm going to have a large soul of a nameless soldier, which should be, yep, a thousand souls, excellent. I will go and see what I want to level up now. I guess I'll go for vitality, purely. We'll just do that, easy. Because we are pretty content with our current weapon. Now if I talk to Andre of Astora, should be able to. Actually, I'll keep these souls. If I talk to Andre and, like, level up my weapon here, I'll lose my souls. And I do need some more souls even after I kill the boss to get that uh, 20,000 soul item, which will open up the Dark Root Forest, which will be a soul farming area for us. So, yeah, I want to kind of, like, keep my souls for now, and then I'll be able to get a crap load more anyway. So, I'll do that later on or rather in the next video, so I will see you guys in that next video, which will indeed be part four. It is currently part three of the Let's Play, and uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed so far. There will be more linear direction sort of gameplay from now on. You won't really see too much crazy stuff. Then again, I suppose not everyone goes into the Dark Root Forest to farm souls early on, but I do. Very important. Maybe more people do it nowadays. I think a lot more people do play this game nowadays because there is more interest in the Souls series since Dark Souls 2 released and then Bloodborne came out and then, oh, the game is so hard, it's so great. And then all of this crap. I mean, honestly, I can't stand all of the new people who have shown interest in the Souls series in recent years. But anyway, uh, I think maybe more people do play this game. So now maybe more people do the dark root forest thing or maybe they don't maybe they're actually really shit at the game and don't know what's going on but anyway all the veterans are helping out those clowns anyway so well all the ones that are dedicated to the soul series i'm not dedicated to it because i i've played it too much so yeah i'm not really making videos for those people but anyway thank you for watching once again i will see you guys in part four it is currently part three of my let's play and it or, yeah it is also got getting stuck on my sentences again but it is actually the 3rd of October 2017 as I am recording this. So yeah, I will see you guys when I am next recording this game. Catch you guys later.